Okay, we're going to look at uh, a little demonstration by Walter Fent. This is a spring uh, pendulum that uh, if we start it, you'll see that the, oops, I must have uh, hit stop. You'll see that the pendulum just goes up and down and uh, you can change, you can change the spring constant uh, K, the mass of the, the, uh, the weight that is the mass of the, uh, the item that's suspended. Uh, the gravitational acceleration, we'll leave that alone. And the amplitude of the displacement, which is five centimeters. Um, so uh, the reason I wanna show you this is the, to see the exchange between potential energy and kinetic energy. In order to do that, we'll, we'll slow it down. Let's uh, reset it to the beginning. I'm gonna put it in slow motion and let's start. And you'll see, uh, <laughs> it may be too slow, but you'll see that the kinetic, it started with uh, gravitational potential energy. Um, and now as it went through the zero crossing, it went to uh, kinetic energy. Now it's all spring potential energy that's pulling it back upward. And you see as it goes through the zero crossing, it's all kinetic energy. Now it's converting into gravitational potential energy. And it keeps this cycle going, fully gravitational. As it goes down, it's going to convert to fully kinetic energy. Um, once it passes that, then it'll start going to spring potential energy because it's elongating the spring, and the spring is going to pull it back up. And uh, notice that the rectangle that is total energy never changes. It never changes in size in size it only changes between kinetic energy and potential now there's other things to look at you can look at the elongation let's put it take it out of slow motion put it back into regular motion you can look at the elongation it's a little red uh, mark going up and down you can look at the velocity uh, the velocity is maximum as it goes through the zero crossing and of course it is zero at either end we can slow that down uh, to look at the velocity um, at either end, it actually slows down, goes to zero, and then turns around, just as if you were to throw a ball up in the air. Um, that's where it, it, right there, and now it's going to increase. When it goes through the zero crossing, the equilibrium point, that's when its velocity is maximum. That's when its kinetic energy is maximum. And you can look at, let's go back to regular speed, look at the acceleration. The acceleration is blue. Um, and if you can compare it to the force, you'll see that the acceleration and force are in the same direction as we would expect it to. Force, um, acceleration is equal to force divided by mass. Those acceleration and force are both vector quantities and uh, mass is just a scalar. So it's just a, a division by a scalar. So you should get the same direction. And then you're back in the energy. Uh, I may assign this, I may give you an assignment where I'm gonna ask you to uh, change the, the spring constant, the mass, leave the gravitational acceleration alone, maybe the amplitude, and just take a screen grab and send it to me. And we'll uh, make an assignment out of it, maybe like a 10 point assignment. Okay, that's it for uh, uh, I, I'm going to put the link and I'm going to uh, ask you to, to look at it and do it as an assignment.